Hello. In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set two-factor authentication on Skype. The first thing I'd like you to do is to launch a Skype account, which of course I have done right here. Now, the next thing I'd like you to know is what Skype is about. Skype is a proprietary telecommunications application that allows you to keep in touch with free video calls or free video chats, messaging, and affordable calls. You can create instant online video calls with one click, no download required. So now that we know a bit of what Skype is about, let's quickly hop into today's text, which is how to set two-factor authentication on Skype. So I'd like you to head over to the left corner of your screen where you have your profile name. So click on your name. Mine is Amanda Mac and it takes you here. Now you have the Skype to phone, Skype number, Skype profile, and you have settings. So go ahead and click on settings and it's going to open you up to this window where you have a profile picture. That's the account and profile settings. You have profile picture, Skype name, email, birthday, Skype to phone, Skype to number. Your profile, you have your account. Now click on your account and that's going to take you right into your Microsoft account. So changing your Microsoft account is going to, um, let's say, setting a two-factor authentication on your Microsoft account is going to reflect in your Skype account. So that's what it means necessarily. So I'm going down and head over to the left corner here. We have the change password. So you can just select change password. So I have to enter a Microsoft email and next. Because they are like very security conscious. Then sign in. I'd like you to know that this account was created for Okay, so I have to sign in. So email. I have to verify my identity, then send the code. Very security conscious. Very security conscious. So I'm just copying my code from here. And I'm going back to Skype and verify i'm just gonna say yes and i'm here so i'm just gonna head over to security at the top corner just click on that security at the top corner of that screen Now I'm in this window for security. So the top right corner, you have the change password and you have two-step verification. So select two-step verification. And now you're here. Scroll down to where you have additional security and you have the two-step verification turn on. This is off already, so just go ahead and click on turn it. Now you have this two-step verification at an extra layer of protection to your account. That's awesome. And you have the following steps. So make sure you have an up-to-date security info where you can receive security codes. Set up an authenticator app if you have a smartphone. Print or write down your recovery code and then create app passwords for apps and devices. So you can click on next. How else can we verify your identity? To finish setting up, we need one more way to make sure you're you. So identify my identity with what? An application, an alternate email address, or a phone number. So you can use any of these options. All right. So after using any of these options, go ahead and click on Get It Now. I want to click on Get It Now. Just follow through the next step. Now they could send a code using any of these options, using any of these options. So whatever you choose, ensure you can get a verification code through that means. So click on Get It Now and through the step-by-step -step processes for you to be verified and at the end of the day 
your two-step verification will be set up so this is pretty much it now remember you need to have the microsoft authenticator um, um app you need to have the microsoft authenticator app so it's very important that you use that because that is how you can be able to set up the two-factor authentication so this is pretty much the process now we can go back to the tutorial from top to bottom to get acquainted with the steps and once you're done you'll be good to go i hope this video marvelously helped your search